Okay, we got a match. Okay, let's go here. Castle. This guy is playing like he's got some ideas, you know what I mean? This is a man with a plan. A guy playing bishop h3 like that, it's a guy who knows what he's doing. He's gonna get the A file from me. I can't stop that, but I think I'm gonna get some some stuff going with H5, H4, and donation from ya 928 thank you for sharing your time knowledge and wit that sounds like a good book title or something time knowledge and wit I'm happy to thank you uh, ya 928 jeez $50 donation thank you very much I'm trying to plug the dark squares here Trying to do my best. Not sure if it's going to work. Just go like knight d7, maybe knight f6. Knight queen e8 doesn't seem very dangerous. I think I can probably take that. Thank you. 
Those will go A4 if his C-Pawn's ever hanging. I think this is fine. I don't think we can hold our blockade for very long. <laughs> We're gonna win this. That's hilarious. <laughs> what a genius I am. <laughs> what a genius. Oh yes, King C7. That's some big brain stuff. BTS Rap Monster, thanks for the uh, tier one. <laughs> oh man. And it's like winning, I think he's winning on the board at some point too, after his H5 movement. <laughs> That's a tilt the world right there for my pal over here. Trap the king. I tell you guys, there's not that many times in chess where you trap the king and win. Just, it's just not that common. It's, that's the high IQ stuff that you tune in for. Let's go here. Okay, F5 will take it and go F4. Okay, you're always threatening to take in these lines, so... Probably I'll go queen d2 and switch the knight to e3. Mm, could go here as well. Start with king h2. What happens if knight here? Am I not just like winning this pawn? I should have done it last turn. There might be some funny move in like G4 here. Takes takes, I have knight h5. I think it can work. Yeah, I'll take with the knight and go knight h5 if he does that. Knight g4 move. Just finished my coffee. Just finished the old coffee. It's a very important pawn. If he just loses it, I can't imagine his position being very good. I think he has to find this knight g4 move. Hmm, okay. So what's the idea? He wants some queen h5 business. So takes, takes, queen h5. No, but I have knight e3. It's just a good position for me. Sorry, oh, I have knight takes g7. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> knight g7 is just crushing me. Bishop f8. Holy smokes. This guy's asking for it. Is queen c3 or what? Jeez. Bishop f8. What a move. Knight g4. I mean... All the moves. All the stuff. Start with this one. Probably just play g4 next. Should try to play g5 or something, I don't know. I think I should have played it first, so I didn't have king g8. 
Oh well. Oh well. I'm trying to slide my rooks over. Definitely should have played it though. Okay, this one. I'm gonna play knight h4 and knight f5 if he takes that. That's why I put the rook here, so that after rook h6 I don't have to deal with any knight takes their BS. So let's go here, I think. Or can I just go here? No, let's just go this one. Actually, there's knight d5 on that move. I'm kind of on the, uh, kind of on the crack here. supposed to do to win here? What? If he plays bishop, it's okay. So it's not going as planned. Holy shit. I thought I had 0.08. .08. I didn't see that was 9.8. I, I I thought I was up on like by more time. But for some reason when I looked at it, just that split second, the way his moves were, like he just hung everything at the end, I thought he was like flagging me. Scared the shit out of me for a sec. Scared the bejesus out of me. It's good to trade off these uh, dark square bishops, so I'm happy. I'm happy. Go for a5. Oh, I was happy to see that. Okay. I'll go b6. Wow, he took that. e3 I take. Go rook c8 and try to go c5 next. He might have to go b4, but okay, it's a weakness on b4 as well. Blunder. Is he going to blunder again? No, he's going to play rook e1. Or that. 
the knight can come back, let's say, to f5. And he takes, I think I could take with the queen. Get my knight there, if rook c1 at the end, I have knight d3, forking. That's a big blunder. e3, Give it, gives up a nasty pawn. He needed to just play king h2 there. Hey, Lucas. Lucas Mito, what's up, buddy? How's it going? I think I'll try to trade queens. <laughs> He's falling for some of the most basic, basic moves. I mean, I could predict that, like, I did predict that, like, 50 moves ago or something. Just improve our rooks. I think I can chase this rook around a bit or no? Mm, let's go a4. If he plays b4, I'm thinking I can maybe get my rook in behind there. Can I b6? I mean, rook c3 is pretty good. Yeah, just go for it. This is hanging, and I have knight there, rook there, bunch of moves. Just make sure we have a escape square so it's not like mate or anything crazy. I suppose we can go here. I gotta respect that. We'll just take this next. these two moves. C3. Uh, okay, I'll repeat it. it. Went very well last time, but obviously he's not going to blunder the same way. Let's put the knight on E3 again. That's the first step. Okay, he has some ID. 
ideas of uh, knight g4 here, that's for sure. Try to take control of some key squares here. Like if a knight ends up on e4, let's say knight there, takes takes, the other knight comes to e4, then f2 might be fragile, as well as f3. So I'm just preemptively playing rook f1. I still want to play b4. Okay, this is a trade I want to make. Start with this. This bishop can also reroute to d1 to kick the queen off and really support this g4 move, which is a, a an idea I've been trying to play for a while. So let's do that. No more knight d3 coming in. I feel like our position is slowly getting better and better. Put the bishop on e2, supports c4, watches g4. And this rook can make itself useful, very useful, on a7, I think. Watch some stuff here. There are some sacrifices. I am going to preemptively play knight e2 to watch both of these squares. I think it's important. I could play g4 now. It's a little risky because he can give me a check back there. Let's hit this pawn. This knight needs to be on d4, that's what I'm missing in my position. I can always have knight f1 to guard this. This is also pinned, and the threatening rook takes c7, so he doesn't have knight e8. Oh, oh no, I didn't hang my queen. <laughs> he thought I did too. <laughs> Stop queen h6. That's why I take with the knight. He thought I did too. If he thinks he hung my queen, and I think I hung my queen, then I didn't hang my queen. That's how it works. Bring the queen back and go knight f6, I guess. Okay, I just have to stop that. Although, eh, I just allowed knight e4. I did just allow knight e4. So h6 takes 6. 
B4, no possible. Okay, we can make it work. I think. Oh, wow. Let's hit that. Probably something like rook d8 and d5 is, uh, is correct here. Maybe this rook. here. I actually want to reroute this bishop to g6. I'm trying, Steve. I like that username. Orphan of Fortune. It's going okay so far. get this ASAP, so e4 I can still take, so he's got to move his queen before he plays e4. I think I'm just in time, get my bishop here, nice diagonal. Wow, that's a very committal move that he just played. six and get my bishop back out this way. And the f-pawn actually does a good job of holding the fort. I think f6 here? Unless there's a better move. play a little bit faster. I'm going to play bishop g6 next. If he doesn't play f5, I'm going to take on c3 and play my bishop on e4. If he does play f5, I get the e5 square for my bishop, so I think he's in a tough spot. What the hell is that move? Holy cow. I thought I was going to have to work harder to get this great position. Not the move I wanted to play. But we live and we learn. Gotta go here next. seconds, I'm playing this one safe. Just take that draw. Just take that draw. 
could have, if I was the one with more time, then I would have found a way to break through there, but... The way that game was going... Only bad things can happen, probably, by trying to win. Okay, I've liked my position every time that we've played so far, so... I'm not gonna complain. gonna complain. Just gonna do the same stuff. Okay, he's letting me have B4. I think I'll take it. I mean, it's just a free move. Why not? Let's go rook B1, A3 if necessary. I do want to make this trade. queen out there at once. I can reroute the knight like that if necessary. I'm not too worried about the g-file. Knight here. We just have rook f2. It's like queen g4 or something. Okay, you want snipe g4, this I understand. Let's actually go here. Swing this rook over to h3 if he goes knight g4. And then I can play a3 to shore up this pawn over here so his knight doesn't sneak in. If he takes, I can take and I don't see any dangerous discoveries for him. Okay. This is fine though. Just take. And play a3. Knight goes to d4 and then knight goes to e3. I'm not sure what I should do with this stupid rook. Nope, now I am. Now I'm sure what I should do with it. h3, trade it off. This is definitely right. H3 next. No, he, he's definitely too slow here. Okay, we'll play B5. I mean, it, he gets some dark squares there, but it's just, um, I'm too quick. Like here, how does he stop me from just doing this? I don't think he can. So we're going to get g4, which is extremely good for us. And his knight just can't develop. He's got to move his bishop and then move the knight. We're probably going to win this e4 pawn. I mean, he's, yeah, he's just not developed at all. So the knight is coming to c5 or b6. I get that, but I'm, to me, I'm just way, way ahead. Not only will we win this pawn, but we might even like maiden or something worse. Yeah, just take here. I mean, there's going to be a mate somewhere. Bishop back to c2 if knight c5. And we can get the rook over here. I also have knights. And jumping everywhere. Now this pawn is free, but I think g6 is the nasty move. Knight there, I have g7, and knight there, I mean, just rook takes. And...